Hi, now here we have an example on the factor and remainder theorems. And if you'd like to uh, try this, I'll give you a moment just to pause the video. Come back when ready and you can check your work solution with mine. Okay, welcome back. If you had a go, let's see how you got on. Well, first of all, anyway, we've got f of x equals ax cubed plus bx squared minus 4x minus 3, where a and b are constants. And we're given that x minus 1 is a factor of f of x. And we've got to show that a plus b equals 7. Now, to do this, you should be familiar with the factor theorem. If not, you can always check these ideas out on my website, examsolutions.net. It's got plenty of tutorials on this. Anyway, so just a brief reminder, this is the factor theorem. And that is, if you've got x minus alpha is a factor of, say, some function f of x, then f of alpha will equal 0. And when I compare this to what we have here, the alpha would be just the 1. So what we're saying is that f of 1 should equal 0. And that's our starting point here then. So let's just write down that we're given that f of 1 equals 0. And so therefore, all we need to do is just substitute for x as 1. So we're going to have a multiplied by 1 cubed plus b multiplied by 1 squared minus 4 times 1 then minus 3 and this is going to equal 0 and if we work this out we therefore have 1 cubed which is 1 1 times a is a 1 squared is 1 times b is b and here we've got minus 4 minus 3 which is minus 7 so if I add 7 to both sides we end up with a plus b equals 7. OK? Now, in the next part, we're given also that f of x is divided by x plus 2, and the remainder is 9. And we've got to find the value of a and the value of b, showing each step in our working. So, to do this, you've got to be familiar with the remainder theorem. And what is the remainder theorem? Well, the remainder theorem is this, that if f of x is divided by x minus alpha, then the remainder is f of alpha. The factor theorem, just by the way, is a special case of the remainder theorem. Because if you divide f of x by x minus alpha and the remainder is 0, then you'll have f of alpha will equal 0, what we have up here, OK? So comparing this, we've got to be careful here. Alpha would be minus 2 for this example, OK? So what we're saying is that f of minus 2 would equal the remainder 9. So again, we just put this down here, that we're given that f of minus 2 equals 9. And all we've got to do is substitute x is minus 2. So if we put minus 2 in here, we therefore have a multiplied by minus 2 cubed plus b multiplied by minus 2 squared. Then you've got minus 4 multiplied by minus 2 and then minus 3. So that's f of minus 2, and we now know that this equals the remainder, which is 9. So working this out, we therefore have minus 2 cubed, which is minus 8. Minus 8 multiplied by a gives us minus 8a. And here we've got minus 2 squared, which is 4, multiplied by the b, and you've got 4b. Here we've got plus 8, and then minus the 3 equals 9. 8 minus 3 is going to be 5. If we subtract 5 from both sides, we therefore have 9 minus 5, which is 4. So we therefore have minus 8a plus 4b equals 4. So just come down here. And uh, 
what we can do with this equation is divide through by 4. Okay, so if we do that, dividing each term by 4, we're going to therefore have minus 2a and then plus 1b or plus b equals 1. Okay, now we've got two equations now with a's and b's in, so this is going to be simultaneous equations to solve for a and b. So I'm going to call that equation 1 and that equation 2. And I can see that I can eliminate the b's if I subtract, say, equation 2 from equation 1. So if we just put down here 1 minus 2 gives, well, what does it give us? Well, we've got a minus minus 2a, which is going to be a plus 2a, in other words, 3a. We've got b minus b, so that's gone out to 0. And we've got 7 take away 1, which is 6. And you can see if we divide both sides by 3, a will equal 2. OK, so we just now need to go on to work out what b is. And to do that, all I need to do is substitute a equals 2, let's say sub a equals 2, into any one of the equations. Well, I've got a choice here between 1 and 2. Let's go for equation 1 sub a equals 2 then into 1 and if we do that we therefore have a which is 2 2 plus b then equals 7 and if I subtract 2 from both sides we end up with b equals 7 take 2 which is 5 and then we'll just have a summary therefore a equals 2 and b equals 5 okay so I hope it's given you some idea as I say don't forget factor theorems and the remainder theorems, you can see this on my website, examsolutions.net.